It immortalizes the faces of Holocaust survivors with more than 70 portraits. A photographic journey that goes from Israel to France as part of a project called The Last Link Project. Moving and essentially. 78 years after the end of the Second World War, what drives people to commit themselves to the perpetuation of memory? Fanny Zimbler asked Nissim Selman this question while working with a survivor named Zushka Helfman. On the eve of Holocaust Memorial Day, as part of my project called The Last Link, I met Zissel, soon to be 102 years old. This Polish woman, born in Auschwitz, just a few kilometers from the death camps, lives today in Binyamina, northern Israel. Intimidated by the camera, her son answers for her. 78 years after the end of the Second World War, what drives people to commit themselves to the perpetuation of memory? Photographing Holocaust survivors is a mission that Nissim Selman embarked on 10 years ago. He immortalizes their faces as they live what may be their last years. I think one of the most important things is to document the Holocaust survivors for future generations. There are not too many of them left in Israel or in the world. And if we don't document this today, with this survivor who relates her own story, who is still alive, we risk not being believed later on. Currently in Israel, there are less than 160,000 survivors of the Holocaust. So for Nisim, taking photos is a way of contributing to the duty of remembrance. The portrait of Zushka Zissel Helfman, a survivor, is captured for eternity. Black and white photos to tell the horrors of a past that must never be repeated.